Hey guys, so um, I'm going to do a quick overview of what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Just I thought I'd share it because I'm using a lot of the NYX products I just bought and I really like them. I'm loving NYX. Um, and then I want to show you guys how I do like um, how I use cream highlighters and cream blushes on my cheeks. I'm not wearing any blush right now because um, I just want to show you I love the look in winter of having like dewy highlighted flush cheeks. I think it's really pretty. So um, first off, what I'm using on my eyes, I was wearing Indian Wood Paint Pot as my base. And then on top of that, on my lid, I put on um, this color here, which is Deep Bronze. And this is from the NYX um, Trio number 15. And this bronze color actually goes on my lid, almost the same color as the Indian Wood Paint Pot. So it layered really pretty over that. And then from the NYX Nude on Nude Natural palette, um, I use this dark matte brown as my um, crease color. And then for my highlight and in my inner corner, I use this right here, which is a, it doesn't, none of these have names in this palette, but it's a sort of creamy matte white color. So there's that and then the liner and you know. Um, all right, so here's the two products I'm gonna I chose to use to do this. Um, the first one is a NYX Cream Blush, and this is in Rose Petal, and I love these blushes. I'm gonna buy a million more of these because they're gorgeous. I love the texture. I love everything about it. Here's a little itty bitty swatch there. Um, so it's just a pretty like the color of a Rose Petal, warm pink color. And then to highlight, I'm gonna use this Mac um, Cream Color Base, and this is in Hush. And it just is a really pretty, like, pearlescent, it's on my middle finger there, you probably can't see it, but it's a really pretty pearlescent sort of pink color. Um, if you want to substitute products, I know um, you can totally get stuff at the drugstore, like um, this is the Dream Mousse um, Blushes from Maybelline. I really love these. This one is in Peach Satin, but they just have a really nice sort of whipped texture. They just go on really well. I love those. Um, a highlighter I really like is Benefit, um, this is High Beam, they make Moonbeam and High Beam. High Beam is pink, Moonbeam, Moonbeam is more like yellow. Um, it comes in this kind of like nail polish container thingy, but it's really pretty. It's like, you know, another pearlescent pinky, um, liquid highlighter. So, and also like e.l.f. has those shimmering facial whips. You can find stuff like this anywhere. I know Revlon also just came out with a new one that I'm going to go check out. I'm not sure it's like a face illuminator sort of a thing. All right, and then you, uh, if you're going to use a brush, which I do recommend if your blushes are really pigmented, um, if they're not, you can just use your fingers, but it makes life easier to use a brush. Um, and I would recommend a skunk or a duo fiber brush. And you probably would recognize the MAC ones, like the 187, because it's black down here and white up here. This is one from Bare Essentials. It's okay. Um, I'm going to replace it soon, but... You can see how it's got the white bristles on top. It's two different, you know, it's duo fiber, two different types of brush fibers. So it's stained, of course, because I'm sloppy and I need to clean my brushes. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just take the cream blush. And the way you do this is you really, you don't swirl it around in there because this is so pigmented, you're going to get way too much. You just sort of, like, tap it in there. And seriously, that's all you need. So then just sort of apply a dot to the apples of your cheeks here. Just dot back and forth. Doo -doo. And I've said this before, but I don't smile when I'm doing this because anytime you like contort your face and then put your makeup on, after you relax your face, unless you're holding that same, you know, position all day, it's going to be in a different spot than you intended it to be. So <clears throat> I don't know. It's never made sense to me. All right. So you get the, you know, you can go back and put on more to sort of get your two little dots going on here like a little doll. So once you stippled it on, which is what that's called when you stipple it like that, just sort of work to blend it out. Um, and the way you want to blend out your blush just depends on what you think looks best on you. Some people like it right in the center of their cheeks. Some people bring it out more towards your cheekbone. Some people like it down here more. I personally like to sort of bring it up on my cheekbone. I think it, it just works with my face shape, but, you know, it's kind of a uh, personal preference. So get the other side. You can bring it up to your temples a little bit. I like that, you know, when it sort of looks like you're just naturally blushing, you know, like when you're embarrassed or something. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can see, I hope you can see that. I've got just this really pretty sort of pinky flush to my cheeks here. 
All right, then I'm going to go ahead and take the MAC uh, cream color base. And this I'm just going to use with my fingers. It's just easier. Just take my index finger and get some of that on there. You can see how pretty that is. And then I'm going to highlight basically my cheekbone, um, this area here, pretty much anywhere the light would hit. Um, it's, you know, it's up to you. If you have oily skin, um, maybe go ahead and use a powder highlighter if you're worried about, you know, your face looking oily. But personally, I just like the way cream looks better. So sort of take a streak along my cheek there. And then just blend it in. Just imagine that you're sort of placing the light on your face, you know? And then do the same on the other side. I'm going out to dinner tonight, that's why I'm getting all dressed up. I bought a Betsy Johnson dress. It was on sale from $250 or something to $80. Like, I know. So I'll show it to you guys. But it's sort of it's sort of like an overcoat almost. It's hard to explain. It's like this button-up like dress almost, but it's open at the bottom and it sort of splays out into these. It, I don't know. And it laces up the back. It's really pretty. I have to show it to you though because it's hard to explain. So anyway, you can see how the light is sort of catching my cheeks there. All right. You can do, go ahead and highlight, you know, up here by your brow a little bit. Um, another nice spot is on your little cupid's bow. I know it sounds weird, but if you have, um, like, small lips, it really, I swear to God, it makes your lips look fuller just to sort of tap a highlighter up on your cupid's bow and even in the center of your lip. Like you can see that it just gives this pretty, pretty little pout. Um, if you want to, and I'm going to because I'm just adventurous like that, you can highlight the upper bridge of your nose. If you're oily, definitely skip this step, but I don't know. I like to look glowy. It makes me happy. And then also, even though I've already put it up here with a powder, I'm going to highlight my brow bone just right under there. Make sure to keep it more towards the outer part of your, like, where your eyebrow arches, keep it from there out, because um, you don't want to start bringing it in, like, under here. It's going to look a little weird. So. All right, so there you go. It's my nice dewy face. I hope you, I'm going to try and cover up this lamp. I hope you can sort of see the way it's just made my face look more three-dimensional. You can see my cheeks are sort of glowy. I really like it. So I hope you guys found this useful. It sort of ties in with my uh, contouring highlighting video. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.